Hey, it's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. We're on the industrial side today, so that means data and specs. It's 50 foot to the walk platform up there. It was a balmy 22 degrees to start off the morning. We're drilling and tapping three quarter inch steel. This is the first of many billboards coming down the pike. So if you've got better practices than our current best practices, drop them in the comments. We are always learning together. In addition, you're gonna find a couple of Easter eggs in this project, so keep your eyeballs out. Let's rock. The code allows for condom bending. As long as the interior diameter is not decreased. I need a three inch offset and I was gonna use a liquid type flexible metallic conduit, but I'm short on fittings because uh, for some reason that offset in the pole, which is super obvious, escaped me. And so I've got the exact correct number of IMC pipe, 10 foot lengths of pipe. I've got no bender, I'm short on fittings and I'm under a time crunch. So I'm just gonna try a little field bend and just see what happens. This is what you call having fun. I have to go get something anyways, either a bender, more pipe fittings, so I might as well give this a shot. As long as I don't decrease the interior diameter. So, uh, see, that's what this thing does, is it holds itself in place, a fixed, it's got variable speed, it's got forward reverse. Where'd you say that speed was, Phil? On this right here, see so that's number one, and then, but remember, don't use that ah. while the drill is. Right, and then we've got bonus features on this other side, so let's go ahead and get this in place and drill our first hole. Low speed, patience, low to relative force. We'll be consistent and put the bolt heads facing outward, that way we can get a screwdriver on them easily. Freight trains are coming. For you nerds out there, Siemens First Surge. This is an FS140. The code calls it an SBD Type 2. It's rated for voltage systems 300 volts or less. It's rated up to 100,000 amps of fault current. That's phenomenal. This is one of the best residential and light commercial surge protectors you can buy. And you know what we have on the top of this 50 foot pole? We have literally a half million dollars of digital sign faces that have been manufactured in none other than Danville, Illinois. And so one of these babies is going in standard on every single job. You'd be a fool to expose yourself to Midwestern lightning storms without first surge. That's my humble opinion. <laughs> okay guys, tell me what you think in the comments. There is not a single ground rod on this project. Because what I've done is I've taken a number four copper directly from my ground and neutral bar, because this is first means of disconnect, so they're common, and I've quarter 20 tapped it right into three quarter inch steel, which is set in over 10 feet of concrete. What do I need a ground rod for? This is my ground rod. This is the ground rod. Do you think the inspector's gonna fail me on that? Vote yes, no. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, but that's what I've done. Material of choice today is the Southwire Titan II, one inch LFMC. Liquid type flexible metal conduit. That's what the code calls it. And Southwire, my experience, phenomenal. Southwire is dominant with their simple and their other solutions. They're, South, they're, they're dominant in almost every category in which they appear. Thank you Southwire for being an excellent partner and facilitating our job on this billboard today. Back to work. Welding, hopefully you can see those sparks coming off. Neat perspective, crane in the background. That's what a working height of 50 feet looks like. I'm impressed. These are the men that build America, right there. Mike Rowe, you watching? Those are your boys, right there. Right there, Mike. Actually, I'll see you next month. So we experienced a delay on this project. See, for about an hour and a half, the guys up there had to go to work lowering that banner because it was seven inches too high and it was conflicting 
with the uh, faces themselves. So they had to uh, cut and remove while suspending, drop it down seven inches, and then arc weld that thing all the way back into place. Pretty time consuming, but it did allow us to eat lunch. It's a good thing that everybody here knows what they're doing. This is a quarter million dollar face hanging 50 feet in the air. And that is the old time of making it happen. Well, it pays good. The job is fun. No gym memberships required. And the uh, nerves I felt at 6.30 this morning when my alarm went off, I think have all subsided. We shall conquer. If your preference is not 22 degrees and 50 foot heights, click on this video here for more commercial power. Three phase, 800 amp service. Another fun job, but it was 104 degrees that day. So subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.